I want to ask you a simple question. How many of you, when you were seven, played hide and seek? Raise your hand. When you were seven, you played hide and seek. Go, keep them up, please. You played, you, you played hide and seek when you were seven. Keep them up. How many of you played hide and seek, thanks for raising it, Rick, when you were seven and your mom or dad or a relative would call you in to eat and you just wanted to keep playing? Raise your hand. You can put them down. What's your name? Nick. Nick, you're seven. I'm seven. And you're the new kid in the neighborhood. And I walk up to you and I say, you want to play? What do you say? For sure. And then you go and you play. We played hide and seek at seven. And we played for four hours, right? And when I tagged you, what happened? We went, and then we'd switch. That's completely irrational. Four hours of hide and seek. Nick, you're in the bushes and I'm seeking you. And I'm so thrilled. And you're hiding in the bushes, waiting to be found. And you're so thrilled. And when you walk up at seven and say, do you want to play? There's no race. There's no gender. There's no identity issues. I'm not asking for your business card. All I'm asking for is, do you want to play? And when you play, when I tag Nick or Nancy or Monty or Jason and say you're it, I don't go bop because then that game is done. And you'll never play with me again. I want you guys to learn right now why you played hide and seek for four hours. There's a reason. I researched this, I figured it out, and I'm so passionate to share this, not as a guru, as a 43-year-old father of a two-year-old who grew up in West Covina, who's not a basketball coach, who's not really even a basketball fan per se. I'm a fan of moving people. I want to share with you two new exercises with the concept. This theme is called Let's Play. Everything you say is correct. If I say no, go to a new door. Your the is the most amazing the there is. You as an audience, need to empower him by literally sitting like experts right now. Sit like an expert. I ask you, all your, your players should sit like experts. Why? It keeps your blood flowing. And the person standing up, the coach, all of a sudden feels like a much better presenter. They have your back. They're totally rooting for you. When I say no, go to a new idea. Don't go backwards. Okay. Breathe. Okay. And uh, keep it appropriate. I say that because as you go quick, weird things can go on in the brain. Oh, they already have. I know, I know. <laughs> but did you feel that laugh right there? You just gave him empowerment, and Jason's instinct was to step a foot oh. forward. You guys need to understand the value and power of laughing with. It's truly medicinal and cuts through every single socioeconomic status. Jason, yes and no. I will give you no's that are so affirmative that I'm asking, no, you got something better. Keep it forward at all times. So if you say, if I say, you say you woke up this morning at six, I say no, just move on to something else. Okay. And be creative. Okay. You don't have to stay in reality. All right. Okay, give him some love. Come on, man. Yeah. You're rooting for him in love. You say, I'm glad he didn't pick me. <laughs> and that's the truth. So give him that face. They right, all Jamal? are saying that. This is so, <laughs> this is so valuable. So is this. <laughs> He didn't even see my face. Here we go, James. Let's do this. Tell me about your favorite holiday. Go. Christmas Day. Yes. Describe it. Uh, I got a big Christmas gift. Yes. It was all white. Yes. It came in uh, green. No. It, uh, Make it up. Uh, we bought a McDonald's. Yes. Uh, we. Uh, we no. sold McDonald's for three dollars. Yes, and commit to your story. Don't ask. Don't even make it a uh, question. Uh, like, commit it. to it. Go. Go. Uh, Kobe, Total confidence. Kobe was involved. Yes. We brought in Shaq. Yes. Uh, Pat Riley too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now watch the smile. Go. We, we won a championship. No. Uh, we're on a boat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pat Riley's boat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Go, Jace. Go. Go. How's he doing? How's he doing? How am I doing? Keep going. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jace, go, go, go. I can't think that yes, fast. You can. Yes, you can. I need a ball. No, you're good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Shh. Keep going. All Just right. make, go start wherever. Go, keep going. Um, going. Great, man. It was a sunny day. Yes. We enjoyed the day. No. We went outside. Yes. We went for a walk. Yes. Uh, we were in Compton. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we brought Nancy. Yes. We played basketball. No. We played football. No. We played hockey. Yeah. We played, uh, we asked Wayne Gressy to yes. join us. Yes. Yes. Freddie Couples. Yes. 
Uh, we decided to play golf. Yes. We went home. No. We're walking the streets. Yes. We're on Flatbush. Yes. With the championship <laughs> yes. trophy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go. Um, we're at the stadium. No. Um, we're at the pizza parlor. Yes. When does this story end? Give me a hand, <laughs> Give him a hand man. How do you do? Stay up here. Stay up here. I want to point some things out that went on. Did he make you laugh? Were there moments where you were like, come on, Jason? Were you? We're all seven people. Were you nervous? Oh, yes. Did he say something so telling? He was like, I just want a basketball in my hand. Yes. That was huge. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not playing anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> what worked? I'll start. When Jason breathed and all of a sudden I saw his teeth, it worked. You with me? What else worked quickly? And by the way, no great pass, no great shot. That's been said. Give him some. Give him some. No, no, give him some feedback. Give him some feedback. What else? Nancy. I thought that he, he got up there and tried. Totally. You know, we're problem solvers. We're not looking to be the best hide and seekers. We're just, all I ask is that you play hide and seek with me. And when I tag you, don't bop me in the nose or we're not playing anymore. And I, I'm going to go in and eat my mom's food. You with me? So what I'd like to do now is I'd like us to pair into twos. I just want you to look to the person next to you and just say, let's play. Don't bop them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to need your attention. And even if you're sitting here going, you know, I'm not feeling it, that's fine. Nor are your players sometimes. I need us to get that energy going. And I want you to turn to the next person. And one person is going to say, how was your day? Hold up. And the other person's going to answer. And you're going to say yes or no. And what I want you to do now is redefine what the word no means to you. But this I love. I don't even know you guys. Coach Carl, I love seeing you smile. Everyone does. It's beautiful, man. It gets my skin going the same way when I play hide and seek. Jason and I are up here watching you now, and no longer is it the tough coach who's been sitting all day listening to a lot of good information, but we're tired. Maybe some of your teams are playing right now in the late game, right? Maybe some of your teams lost, like Rick's Cowboys. But the thing at Laugh With, not at, but the thing is, we need to invite laughter in the room in the simplest way. We've complicated laughter. Laughter is not stand-up comedy that's dirty, culture-based, race-based, sex-based, drug-based. Laughter is truly me tagging Nick, and we both laugh, and then you switch. Switch. One person say, how was your day? The other one start weaving, keep it appropriate. And those no's need to be like, no, man, you got something better. And begin. Let's go, Terry. Let's go. Switch it. Yes. <laughs> the more time you together, I'm going to have much more fun. Yes. This conversation. Let me explain why I play that game. Let me explain why I think it's special. It's not special to think how quick you are. It's special because... Uh, I think laughter's been dirtied, and it's been complicated, and I want you guys to understand that's a game you can play on the bus. That's a game you can play with your staff. Uh, it's a game that redefines no. I'm going to ask you all as favored instructors, teachers, and presenters to understand the power of no in the tone. Because I can say no to Nancy eight different ways, but that no that is no Nancy, but I know you got something better is when I'm going to get Nancy to help me win a championship. We've been told no all our lives, but if you can redefine no, you can get to the dog show, and you can get weaving in and out, and you can start having laughter seep into your locker room, and that laughter is pure, and it's a laugh with, not at. I know we have time. I want to keep going, Rick. Hold on one second. What's your name? Tony. Tony, come on up here, man. Give him a hand. Tony, this is how the game works. Everything you say is beautiful and perfect and correct. Okay. When you say the... It is the greatest the you've ever heard. But we are going to do a scene together. And this is challenging because I have a mic in my hand now. Usually it's a lav. And you and I are going to do a scene together. Okay. Now we are going to do a scene. What that means is everything you say, I agree with. Everything I say, you agree with. If I say, Dad, here's my report card, then you're my father and I'm handing you a report card. But I want to share a game that can help with the development of the muscle of being concise. Because I needed it. Tony, when we do this scene, when you speak, Everything you say in that part of speaking, you can only use one word when you want to speak. So each time you talk, 
You have to think of everything you want to say in the scene, and you have to cons consolidate it to one word. That word can change each time you speak. Right. And the scene has to make sense. I might want to say, son, we are so proud of you for graduating high school. And the word I may want to use is proud. Mm -hmm. And now we're focusing on tone, passion, and trusting that you may not have to muddy the story with words, but getting right to the core of everything. Cool? This is a wonderful exercise for us as coaches, presenters, and teachers to work on. Believe me, present company included. Give him some love. Man. <laughs> Come on, man. I got you, you ready? Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe. All right. You're good. It's, it's, the elevation changes up here. And don't rush it. Just find that word. Take as long as you want. I got you. I'm not going to leave you. And I'm not going to clown you. And I'll start. And action. Thanks. You. Me. <laughs> they. <laughs> Us. We. <laughs> when. Now. Today. Forever. Responsibility. Mine. Look. Championship. Yours. Ours. We. Now. Today. Life. Family. Wife. Wife. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> You got a great smile, you got great presence. I don't know where you're at, don't know what you do, but all I know is it doesn't matter. Because at seven years old, you don't know what they're at, you don't know where they do. In fact, I got an interesting story quickly, and then I just want to finish with the concepts that just went on. Seven more minutes. There's a Pittsburgh Pirate. I'm thrilled and honored to announce that I'm working with them because I think they get it. And uh, there's a shortstop who said to me, you know, Steve, I was talking about this Let's Play concept, and his son just went to his first day of school. I know his father's and you know, mother's here, that, that, that we have some kids that are at that age. And he said, Steve, my son came home, and he said to me, Dad, I just, uh, I just played with four kids. They're like my best friends. And he's like, oh, son, that's awesome. And he's like, yeah, we had the best time. We played in the jungle gym. We did this. You know, he just went to school first day. And his father asked him a very rational question, which is, well, what are their names? And his son said, I don't know. That's, I don't know. Like, what a weird question that is, Dad. Because that's how we're wired. Let me explain to you what just happened in these games. And they're not perfect. And Jason had to stop and ask. And, 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 and Tony had a question. It doesn't matter because hide and seek isn't perfect. There's four dynamics going on that I'm going to ask you all to use every day. And it's called Mile. It's a new concept that I developed about seven months ago because I want to make this new. It's go the extra mile. And the M is mystery. So Jason, as I was explaining that to you, you were literally like, I'm not sure what's happening, which is why we get involved in video games because there's mystery embedded in every video game. So I'm going to ask us to take those concepts and embed them into our teachings because I'm tired of that industry making 47 billion. Mystery is embracing mystery. So when you tell your player, hey man, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I can't wait to see you. It's so much better than I'll see you tomorrow. Get out of here. Which is tough coach talk, but actually for the 22 year old who can't breathe, they're thinking, oh crap, tomorrow's going to suck. So embed mystery in everything you do. The eye of mile is incentive. Everything must have an incentive. We are wired that way. And video game industries call it level. It's called level up. There's a whole industry of gamification called leveling up. Foursquare uses it. American Express uses it. United Airlines uses it. Delta uses it. When you guys go to the Admiral Club, you get so excited, you paid for that. That's not free. You got leveled up. You spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on flights, and then you got to have a little better coffee. It's called leveling up. It's incentive. We have to embed incentive into our staff. And Rick, you talked about it with um, the player, with, with Ron. You gave him an incentive, which then is what we're geared to do, because we're all seven. The L is laughter. 
You must embed everything with laughter, but that laughter needs to be pure, and you need to laugh with, not it, even if you make a mistake, Alvin. Laugh, no, no, it's on me. You've got to laugh with, not at. You've got to acknowledge and embrace it. Because laughter is a medicinal that allows Tony to breathe. And it allows Jason to breathe. And when you get that laugh, all of a sudden you get those endorphins going like dark chocolate or like video games or like heroin. I'm serious. They've done studies. You rent funny movies more than you rent horror films because we want to feel that laughter again. And the last letter of mile is E, which is empowerment. So if you embed mystery into every one of your presentations and you embed, embed incentive into every one of your presentations, and I mean with your wife, Tony, and with your team, because it's all a presentation and you're serving, and you embed laughter, your own laughter. Rick Carlisle's laughter is so different than mine, but I know when he's trying to make me laugh. Agree? And if you embed empowerment, which is value one another and say names. And let's remove this concept of cursing all the time incessantly and giving the rah-rah speech and just allowing us to go the extra mile with mystery, incentive, laughter, and empowerment. You can get a guy who's seen it all, and now he's up here, like every human being, a little nervous. I don't care what level you're at. When you're seven, all you want to do is walk up to the other person and say, do you want to play? And that other person, all they want to say is, yeah, and then you go play. 